So today we're going to talk about how someone who parts their hair on the side can have a fringe that can accommodate parting on either side. And that's called a teardrop fringe. Welcome to part three of my bang series. As you may recall in the last video, we did a side swept bang. So my guest has a side bang, but what if she wants to change her part to the other side? Because right now we are short to long going in the direction that she parts her hair. And though her hair is wet, you can see the general shape of the bang. Well, what if we change our part and decide to part on this side? It's virtually flat, if not heavy and long on the inside, where it should be a little bit shorter. So what can I do so that side swept fringe has her in a position where if she wants to switch her part, if a side swept fringe bangs fringe, if you're sweeping to the side, generally you want to go shorter to longer. If I'm sweeping to the other side, I still want shorter to longer. The first video we did was the curtain fringe or curtain bangs. They were straight across. So if I parted to one side, they would go short to long. If I parted to the other side, they would go short to long. And if we parted in the center, they would still have a very subtle short to long because they were flat. Now we're stuck on just the one side. So if my guest wants the versatility of being able to part to either side, but doesn't mind not being able to part in the middle, that's where the teardrop fringe comes in. So we're gonna go back to our basic parting for bangs, put the comb flat and level on top of the head. We are going to cut these from a center part. So I'll start with the center part and we're gonna draw our line from the apex of the head past the edge of the eyebrow. Because this bang is more symmetrical than your typical single-sided side bang, we're gonna find some hair that wasn't included last time. Once again, this is a great place to start, but you're not bound necessarily by having to go by exactly this much hair. If the hair is curly, my technique is probably gonna change almost entirely. Almost certainly not going to involve all of this. And the next steps that we take are definitely just guidelines. However, if we have wavy to straight hair or the bangs are being going to be worn wavy to straight, this is a great place to start. So as with most bangs, I want to cut the hair as close to the body as possible because any elevation is gonna cause some graduation or layering. And we wanna to try to minimize that, at least at first. So keep it close to the body. I'm going to pull the hair perpendicular to this line right here that I just created. That is very, very similar to that last set of bangs that we cut. That would be our classic side bang right there. However, she's not interested in a classic side bang. She wants to be able to part it to the other side as well. So now we need to create a fringe that's gonna be longest in the center. So stay with me. Because she has the side bang here, we're gonna take this next set of bangs even a little bit shorter. I'm gonna part it in the center. I'm going to take the hair from the left side of the head and part it perpendicular to my part on the right. Keep my fingers parallel with the part on the right. This would be my longest section fingers parallel with that and take off all that excess length leaving me shortest on the side longest in the center now I'm going to step around to the other side and do the opposite so I'm going to take the hair on the left side of the head and pull it perpendicular to my part on the right there's my longest length keeping my fingers parallel Wait until that length leaves my fingers. Checking to make sure I'm still parallel. And now we have this fringe that is longest in the center. Now that she's longest in the center, watch what happens. We part on the side, go this way, and she's got short to long. Part on the other side, and she's got short to long. So 
So that's one way to cut our teardrop fringe. We can part from either side and still achieve that short to long from the inside of the face toward the outside.